Hi, this is Tim. In this video, we're going to talk about how to make a cascading timer or a timer that you'll get a signal and maybe we do something for a half a second and then we need to do something for one second and then we need to do something for two seconds. In our previous videos, we have talked about how to make a sample rate timer and we made a flash on, flash off. Well, we didn't really go into the details of this, but this is a cascading timer, only it's just a two timer cascading timer. So down here, we are going to make another one. Let's bring down three rungs. And this will be our half second, one second, and two seconds. And then let's go to our timer counter tab, and we're going to bring down three timers. And this first one, I'm just going to call our cascade one. Right click, new. Create. Our second one we're going to call Cascade 2. And we'll right click, Create. And our third one we're going to call Cascade 3. And we'll right click it, New. First one was going to be a half a second, which is going to be 500 milliseconds. Our second one's going to be one second or a thousand milliseconds. And our third one was going to be two seconds or 2,000 milliseconds. All right, so now we need something to actually drive these. If you notice up here, we kind of are driving the second timer based off of this first timer. We're gonna do the exact same thing. So let's go ahead and go to our bit tab and bring down an examine on onto the second timer. And we're gonna use cascade1.dn on that. And then the next one, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to bring down cascade2.dn. This third one here, just like you notice up here, we actually use the last timer not done. And we're going to do the exact same thing. So we'll bring down examine off, and we're going to use cascade3.dn. And let's put that in half a second, one second, two seconds. Now let's talk about how we can use this to actually turn on outputs. If we study on this, we notice the time between the EN being green and the DN being green is just about what we want. We have half a second, one second, two-ish seconds. So that seems to be what we want. And let's right click one of them, the monitor, and pop open that arrow there and we're going to notice that it's actually the TT bit that's lining up with what we want because if a timer is enabled and its accumulated value is not greater than or equal to its preset, then we're going to be timing. So we're going to use the timer timing to turn on some lights. Let's bring down a rung and then let's bring down an examine on instruction and an output energize instruction. And we're gonna look at cascade one dot TT for timer timing. And then we're gonna turn on output one. So that's gonna be local colon one colon O dot data dot one. And that is our yellow light. And now I'm just gonna copy and paste this wrong two times because this next one is going to be cascade2.tt, and this last one here is going to be cascade3.tt. And over here, the second one, we're going to turn on output 2, which is our red light. And the third one, we're going to turn on output 3, which is our blue light. And we'll put that in, and right away, we're going to see Yellow light on for about a half a second, red light for a second, and then blue light for two seconds. Now, I did go through a mouthful there of code and without a lot of explanation, but I know a lot of you guys just really want to get your stuff working. If you want to know how these cascading timers work, click here. Till next time.